Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to easily add a webcam border to your overlay in XSplit Broadcaster. Stay tuned. In today's tutorial video, I'm going to show you a very simple solution. It only takes a few minutes to actually create, to make a little border around your webcam, making it look more professional and more clean as well. Now we'll be using XSplit Broadcaster, but if you use OBS Studios, I believe the same options are there for you too. Now keep in mind, I'm not going to show you how to do all of the fancy overlay graphics like you see here. We'll probably do a future video on this because these have to actually be created and then imported into XSplit. But I want to show you a very simple solution for your webcam right now. Okay, so here we are in XSplit Broadcaster. Now I already have a uh, capture set up here in the background. So whether you're doing a tutorial video, teaching something, uh, live streaming a game, recording a game, whatever your content is in the background, we have that source already included. The next thing you want to do is go to add source down here. And I'm going to go to devices, video, and select your webcam. So whether you're using XSplit Virtual Cam, or your laptop cam, whatever cam you have. Today we have my cam, which is Logitech Brio. We'll click on this, and there we go. So the idea of this tutorial is to give you a few ideas and show you how to add a little overlay or border to your webcam. And also show you how to crop and kind of zoom in with your webcam as well, giving you the best shot and look, making it look very clean and professional. I've seen a lot of tutorial videos and gamers just pop on their webcam like this, and they may kind of drag it around over the game and maybe do this a little bit, and that's it. Um, that's okay, I guess, but if you take a little bit of time, you can make it look even better. So I'll show you how to do all this today. So again, to resize is pretty simple. Go to any one of the corners and just drag with the left click of the mouse, holding in, and it automatically resizes in the proper format. So for tutorials and gaming, you'll put it up here for today. Now I'm going to show you how to crop the webcam and also kind of zoom in a little bit too because right now uh, it isn't too bad but some people are totally zoomed out and you see the entire room sometimes which isn't always what you want so go down here to the menu and click on uh, Logitech Brio that is your current webcam source at least for me so whatever your webcam source is right click on that and now here is your cam settings these may be a little bit different for you depending upon your particular webcam. The Brio has field of view settings. So right now it's on 78. If we click 65, we get a more zoomed in shot like that. It's actually pretty good right there. Uh, now keep in mind, the more we zoom in, uh, we'll lose a little bit of resolution. So keep in mind, if we do a full shot of my webcam, we're almost full screen like this. You may have a little bit of pixelation or lower resolution just due to the fact you're actually kind of zoomed in with your webcam right now. Uh, so we'll go back to the smaller size here. Okay, we're gonna show you a few settings here. Go down to the sources and export broadcaster. And I'm gonna right click on our webcam source. Now again, we have our field of view here options. And this might be for the Brio only. I'm not sure if your webcam will have this. If not, no worries at all. I'll show you a few things you can do right now to kind of crop your webcam layout. Go to configure, drop this down and go to video output. This is where you'll find your frame rate and also your output resolutions. Uh, make sure you have a pretty clear and crystal picture. So use either HD will be 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720 for 720p. If you have a weaker computer, you may have to adjust the webcam to lower settings, but it really depends upon your computer specs themselves. But we'll keep mine at 1920 by 1080 for the webcam and click apply and okay. So that's pretty much your resolution settings there. But this video is all about making a border. We'll get to that in a second. I do wanna cover also being able to crop. So cropping, we can do it a couple of different ways. So we'll go to configure and we'll go to input. 
and go to camera control and we actually have a zoom slider right here so we can just use a slider left click in and slide it in number gets higher of course for the more we zoom in so you can kind of adjust this if you want to and again the bigger your webcam is on the screen the more you zoom in the more pixelated it will look in the end result so we want to keep Maybe 140 isn't too bad. That's not bad right now, right? So we have less of the background and more of me and the webcam, and that's what you want because webcam is supposed to show you not all of your background, all right? So 140 isn't too bad. 145, 151 isn't too bad either. And again, you can kind of play with this for your needs. We'll zoom back out to 100. Click apply, okay. So th those are just some settings for you to change uh, the layout as far as uh, you can zoom in and out and kind of capture more of your face on the cam. Now what you all been waiting for, how to add that border to your webcam. And again, we're going to show you a very simple solution to do this. Um, again, a lot of people, I'm not sure why they don't do this. A lot of people just put their cam and plop it up there, whether they're live streaming or doing a tutorial video. And in some cases, depending on the background, uh, whether they're doing a screen capture or a static image or a gameplay, sometimes their webcam blends into the background a little bit, which is kind of weird. But you want to kind of make it stand out, so you want to have layers uh, for the effect. So again, I'm going to click on layout and we can go into cropping at the very bottom of the screen here. So at uh, the top, if we push the plus here, click it in, our webcam shrinks at the top down to where my hat is there. It's not bad. I don't move too much in the shot. I stay in, you see. So we're going to crop that in a little bit here as well. And left, crop that in too. So you can use the zoom features or use the cropping features here to kind of orientate and get the camera shot you want. Plus, it takes up less screen if you're doing a tutorial video or whatever. Uh, this is even better. So we'll do 85 on left. Probably gonna do 85 on right as well. And it's pretty centered in to the shot originally. So see how that looks here. 85. You can also type in the values if you want. And the bottom can also come up a little bit too, like this. And that's not too bad. So again, making a little square here. Uh, the idea is you just want to kind of crop in you. It doesn't have to be super close to you, but kind of get rid of the, some of the background effects. Don't make it too distracting for people. All right, so we're going to reset that. And now here is the actual border. We'll go to Effects. Go on to Shape under masking and we'll click on the square and we'll have a border here the radius we'll go with the border here first push on the plus one this will be the thickness of the border and here we have the color being white and you can see there's my border right now it looks a lot better already you see very simple solution kind of wake up my gameplay here and there you go not too bad uh, the webcam now pretty much is prominent uh, you can tell what the webcam is compared to the actual background which is the gameplay now let's keep myself actually cropped in here give you a better look for things we'll do let's see about 65 for the crop and right we'll do about 65 as well give you guys the actual full effect here of both the cropping I'm not going to zoom anything here. Let's we'll crop the cam. All right, 65, top a little bit. And that's a lot better, right? It looks a lot better. I'm more centered and cropped. I'm more prominent in the shot. We have a little white border around me, which has a pretty good thickness to it. So it keeps me separate from the gameplay. And I think that looks really good. We'll go back to effects here. And we can choose any color from the palette we want. Uh, we can make it a red border. Pretty bright red if we'd like over here there we go so whatever your background will be now maybe choose a different color make it pop even yellow is really good to do too you can also add in opacity to the background border right now it's at 100 so it fully shows we can move the slider down like this a little bit making it a little bit less bright so it's kind of transparent it's not too bad all of these different settings here you have to your advantage you can make a really big border 
That kind of even crops into my camera as well. It's kind of too big though, right? But play with these and uh, kind of adjust it to your needs. I think five is pretty good at max for me anyway. I also have a radius here, kind of rounds off those squared corners for a different effect. That's not too bad either. Then you have shadows down here. You have the shadow uh, going uh, from the bottom kind of right. And that really crops me in so we can reduce the size of this down to, so right now it's at 10. Go down to a, a few clicks down to seven and six for a bit of a shadow. And you can also change the color of the shadow as well. So make it yellow again. It's kind of neat, different and neat, I guess. You can blur it as well, opacity. And you can also offset the shadow more by changing the X and Y axis. And all of these little options up here allow you to kind of give the shadow effect in different parts uh, of the webcam. So all outline like that. We have the bottom left corner instead, the top right, just the top just the bottom, whatever you choose for you. The top is kind of cool, I think, for this. It's not bad. I'm going to, let's see here, reduce the size of the border or the shadow a little bit and the border. And there you have it, a very simple way to add a border to your webcam. Also how to crop and zoom in your webcam and just make it look better overall. Again, some people just kind of lay out their webcam and the background, whether it's gameplay or tutorial video, and they don't bother to change any of these little settings. And these are just very simple options in Expert Broadcaster available to you. So use these tools while they're here for you. It makes your streams and videos look a lot more professional and cleaner too. So besides the square, there's some other shapes you can test out too, like a circle for the shape of the border for your webcam. There's also masking options, which is probably better for a different video. It's a bit more complicated, but today, hope you learned some cropping, zooming, and adding a really nice professional look to your webcam and your videos. We can move this around now, and uh, yeah. Now we can actually continue playing our Bubble Bobble game. Be kind of nice, right? So I'm going to play this game, guys. Enjoy the video again. Rewatch. Remember how to zoom your webcam. Uh, you can also do some different settings with the brightness and contrast. But today's video more about cropping and adding that simple border to your webcam and shadows too. See you guys later. Oh, he got me. Ah! Oh, jeez. Got him. Oh! Ah! Darn! And there you go, a very simple solution to add some zooming, cropping, uh, webcam overlay and shadowing, making it look more professional and cleaner for your viewers. Hope you all enjoyed the video today. I'm Eddie Ray for the Tech Eddie Show. We'll see you back here next time.